modern way of living continuously increases the energy demand in an unpredictable way, requiring an increase of generation capacity as a result. In addition, the electricity network faces the high penetration of renewable energy sources, which has a considerably negative impact on the overall grid stability. Such excessive energy demand along with the intermittent nature of generation coming from the sun and the wind brings critical challenges to the grid operation, requiring costly investments in infrastructure with higher energy prices following shortly thereafter. The solution to the problem could be changing the perspective. Instead of focusing on the supply, it's time to take charge of the demand. Demand-side management has the unleashed capacity to overcome some of the major barriers of controlling and balancing supply and become a powerful tool at the hands of grid operators. Nevertheless, today a very limited share of demand-side management is actually integrated in the markets. And it only applies to large industrial and commercial consumers who have the capacity to participate in the programs that currently exist. The Inertia project aims to deliver an efficient management framework that will allow the aggregation of smaller loads, enabling smaller commercial customers to participate in demand response programs. This is achieved by continuously monitoring the building's resources, revealing its load's flexibility throughout the day, and under different conditions, allowing building operation in an automated way and upon the grid's requests, while fully preserving building occupants' preferences and needs. In this way, Inertia can offer new services to the energy market stakeholders, allowing better coordination and balancing of the grid. The Inertia framework relies upon the intelligent aggregation of both demand and generation at building level, offering demand-side management on significant higher level than those of single individual load appliances. All assets at local control hub environments are handled as active elements, allowing energy performance optimization strategies to be performed at building level, and further, leading to more energy efficient clusters of consumers that actively contribute to the overall grid performance. The three main drivers at local building level are occupancy monitoring and prediction, user profiling, and demand flexibility. By keeping a balance between energy, comfort and business criteria, a holistic flexibility management framework is established, allowing the optimal building operation in real time, following grid's conditions and needs. A number of tools have been developed by the Inertia project to facilitate the realization of the demand-side management strategies at building level. Building facility managers are equipped with powerful tools for real-time monitoring and control of their building's assets, while a series of end-user applications have been developed to address the awareness of the participating building occupants. In addition, Inertia Framework provides services and tools to aggregators and distribution service operators, allowing optimal monitoring and management of their portfolio under different grid conditions. The Inertia framework is deployed and thoroughly tested in three different pilot sites in three European countries, combining real working environments, renewable generation and distribution service operations through the simulation of a microgrid environment. CERTH premises in Greece embody the real and prosumer pilot, including a set of multifaceted areas hosting five institutes covering a wide variety of research domains. IT building hosts most of the Inertia pilot areas, featuring a number of offices along with connecting corridors, meeting and rest areas. The offices range from small two to three people offices to bigger ones that can host up to 10 people, while the rest of the utility spaces present more obscure numbers with more diverse occupancy flows. The kitchen area is further equipped with the indesit small dishwasher delivered within the project's context. A conference room in the nearby INA building is further utilized to experiment with systems scheduling capabilities. Address Addressing storage units as a load of interest in the project, HIT premises possess different electric vehicles that are exploited for the scope of the inertia as storage units. In addition, the standalone power system available at CPERI premises, comprising of a solar 10 kW photovoltaic array equipped with a lead acid accumulator along with fuel cell generators available further facilitated the exploitation of renewable energy resources in the inertia framework. The multi-sensorial network deployed at SATH pilot areas 
allows for the real-time occupancy extraction along with real-time monitoring and automated control of various types of devices and appliances aiming to reveal the amount of available flexibility of a real prosumer based on everyday building operation and real occupants' needs. The microgrid laboratory of Tecnalia in Spain set the second demonstration site of the project through the simulation of grid operation. In addition, two diesel generators combined with an advanced control system are integrated in the platform to further evaluate the impact of local distributed generation. Finally, the Swedish pilot is established to collect and manage generation data from local solar, PV and wind generation sites. Furthermore, a charging station is integrated in the system, providing a monitoring framework to further examine the impact of mass penetration of electric vehicles in Europe. The inertia framework performance is evaluated on its ability to efficiently exploit load flexibility for the establishment of an energy efficient environment in tertiary buildings. The objective of inertia is to further establish a sustainable environment fully preserving end-users' needs and preferences. On the grid side, events that may lead to blackout events are handled by the system, supporting also the aggregators to an optimal placement in energy auxiliary services markets. To support valuation activities, Inertia has organized workshops and seminars at the project's pilot premises focusing on the demonstration of the software tools developed to set the inertia framework. Facility managers, building occupants, aggregators and DSOs were able to get informed about project tools and further evaluate the advancements brought by the overall inertia system.